Um, and we're going to get ready to use that arm bar that we did. Uh, shit, I want to say it was Thursday last week. Yeah, don't do that. No age games. All right, so we're going to be from that knee on belly position that we were, we were working. When he goes here, I'm going to pommel, scoop or his tricep. I want my elbow on his ribs. Because if he tries to come back down to the mat, I want to be able to rotate him. Okay? I can step and post. Right? Post the hand. I want to step just back past his neck. Like my Achilles on his neck if I can get it. All right? Spin. I want to finish at like a 45 degree angle. Right here. Both hands at the wrist, thumb pointing to the ceiling. <clears throat> and we're going to work both sides. All right, comes up. I scoop, elbow on his ribs, step over, tight, 45 degree angle, go to the wrist. What I don't want here is if you don't use your hand, I don't want to fall to this side. I can't let this leg collapse. He's going to get out. All right. So here. Again, if you need the hand, post. All right. I'll pinch my knees super tight. Pin the wrist on my chest. Any questions? Um, once you're comfortable, get as many as you can. We're going to do two and two. So you're just going to... One on each side and you're switch with your partner. We're gonna do it for like 10 minutes. Any questions? We good? All right, one, two, three. All right, we good? All right. I'm gonna enter into a split squat position, meaning I'm gonna have one leg in, one leg out. I can't just do this. Because he knows what he's doing. He's gonna immediately throw a hook in. He's gonna grab my ankle, right? He's into a guard right away. I don't want this, because now I have to break all this, okay? So if he's open, right, I want to either come in here to get to this spot, and then I can come into this, this arrangement here, okay, where I'm pinching at his knees, all right? So we did this entry to get to the knee cut before, right? We're keeping the shield out, right? Looking for our underhook and shooting for that, okay? This split squat position here, and get to this spot, now, he's going to immediately try to do something, right? So I'm grabbing at his pants, which is fine. Hands on his hip. I'm going to look to straighten. I'm going to put my left knee behind him, and I'm pinching my knees together, okay? I'm not making this super loose so he can just do whatever he wants. I'm going to come up. I pinch. Now, he's making grips. I don't even care. I'm going to drop this down to the mat, like at his hip, and I'm going to poke my knee through this hole. So if you can see, as I drop down, I'm gonna poke this knee through this hole here, okay? And then I'm just gonna go all out to the mat. So it's here, knee comes through, this leg comes across, all right? Now, I'm in what they call a side smash position. So it's kind of like the opposite of a knee cut, if you will. So my ankle is behind his bottom thigh, and my knee is through, and I'm over the top of this top side leg, okay? I have my underhook. Now, I'm looking to get my head in on him, control this arm too, okay? So he can't really do much. So if I can, stick the head in under his chin, it's even better. And I'm looking to get top side control on that knee. All right, so once I have this here, I can circle this. And extend his leg out okay so it's hard for him to move right now I look for my grip at his collar keep the knee and I'm gonna spin behind him again just like the leg drag I can open this arm up so I'm gonna spin behind him open he's gonna work right to turn into me so again be shoulder or my head behind his shoulder okay so what happens is I come up through here, and I'm holding his pants. So if he tries to turn towards the mat, I pull the knee back, so turn to the mat, right? He's gonna try to heist his legs, right? He's gonna try to switch them. I'm gonna hold that top side leg so he can't just do that. Okay, it doesn't mean he can't get to the mat, all right? But if he does get to the mat, it's gonna be slow enough 
and get my knee in. Okay. I don't want him just to face me if I can avoid it. So again, I'm outside his feet. I'm going to post, get the knee to the mat. Okay. I'm going to grab on the opposite side of the knee, like the bottom side of his knee. I'm going to work on squaring it up. My knees are going to pinch. And from that grip, it goes right down to the mat. This knee comes through the hole. And I lay down on his leg. Okay. Get my head in. I can circle. Hold that foot out. It's really hard for him to move. <clears throat> Control the top side of his knee. Get my underhook. Grab at that collar. And I'm going to go behind him. I'm just finishing the spot for now. I'm gonna get a seat belt, and I'm gonna be underneath behind his shoulder. So he can't just get to his back, okay? I want him to kind of hit a wall where my chest is at. Any questions on that? Yep. Uh, the right leg, your right leg, how do you get it outside of his left leg again? I'm gonna side smash his top side leg in this case. So I enter here, square up, pinch my knee through the hole, just behind his knee. <clears throat> okay. So here, see my knee, go from here to here, and I'm going to just reach out, <clears throat> okay? This has got a lead, and then I'll, when I move his legs over, this leg can come free. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, now I have an underhook already, so it's hard for him to just come up. Like, he can't come up into me. Go ahead. I'm going to start to drive in on him. I want to be really heavy on the other side. Okay, I don't want to lean over here. Right? I have the underhook. I'm really heavy on one side here. All my posts, this post is really long, so there's no way he can take me this direction. Does that make sense? The only way I can get in trouble in here is if, honestly, I make a huge mistake and lean over over his hip. His hip here would be his center line. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna be really heavy on the, in this case, the right side of his center line. Real heavy down here, okay? If he's using this foot to try to get a hook, so he's circling it, put it behind here. Now his leg can't really move. He can't circle it. So I'm, I don't wanna leave it loose down here where he can start to move the leg, right? My ankle behind his ankle, extend it. Okay, he's not moving it again. All right, stay heavy. Switch to my collar in the back. Push on the knee as I go behind him. Yeah, drop. Okay, and then just finish here with a seat belt. Any questions? Need to see on this side? When you did the. Uh... I guess side smash. Yeah. You drop your hand down. It, it just goes to the mat to post. Yes, but it's also going to function as my underhook. Okay. okay. Now, once I hit the mat and I start to work the, the pass, I'm going to take that underhook deeper towards this towards this collar at some point. For this, I don't want to reach really far when I'm standing up. <laughs> so I enter, come back up, pitch. I don't want to reach here, right? Because now my base is really messed up. You gotta take me this way, right? No good, right? So when I have this here, he tries to elevate, I can sit down on him. And I'm behind his hamstring. He can't just pick me up. Alright? So even if I'm like this, right, and he's grabbing with this other hand, right, I'm just gonna shoot this down and fall on that leg. Okay. Once I'm here, I'm just gonna stay heavy on this top side of this with my ribs my head in here and right now I'm holding at his belt but I'm gonna when I get ready to pass I'm gonna take this up towards his collar okay control the pants and circle grab the collar and now I'm gonna spin behind him here. finish behind him here we good all right um, we're gonna drill this uh, we're gonna do it for time, but it'll be a little bit longer because you're not gonna do it as fast as we were doing some of that other stuff. All right? But we're gonna do rounds of that and then we're gonna to add to it a little bit. All right? 
One, two, three. So I'll run through it. Sell, sell yourself on that side. Like really just, so when I get through here, control, pinch. As soon as this hand goes to the mat, I'm just gonna dive up, okay? Like just reach and, and go down, all right? Now, when I'm here, I can't lean in on his hip. He'll just turn me, okay? So when I'm here, let this leg and everything be really long. I'm holding his hip, dropping my shoulder on the other side. Okay, go ahead and try to move me. There's just no way. There's too much of me on this side, all right? And there's definitely no way you can take me this direction. I've just got my posts are way away from this body, all right? Once I'm here, some guys keeping that leg tight, that's okay. If he's keeping his leg tight, I'm just gonna push this down and circle, okay? Now once I have it, then I wanna come up. And now I can spin behind them to get this, right? All right, once we're here, get that seat belt, okay? I'm gonna put my knee high, pull him in again, all right? I could get that Kimura grip if he presents it to me, all right? Once I'm here, even if he puts his knee to his elbow to try to protect, push all the way across. If he does it, I throw it across, pull it to the right. Here, get my hooks. All right, just finish there tonight. So I want to add more time to it. Just gonna take it all the way to the back. So remember, we don't want to just walk in here because if it's a good guard player, you're gonna get killed. All right. So I'm gonna reach in. I'm gonna make my entry here. Okay. Get the underside of the knee. Walk him in. Pinch my knees. Drop right to the hip, to the mat with my left hand. Put my ribs on the outside of his leg. Okay, now my head's in. He tries to move me. It's just, it's just not gonna happen. I got way too much of my body here. Control the knee. Circle. Grab his collar. <clears throat> now I can spin. Catch. Okay. My knee's gonna go really high by his head. Sit, leg over, pull to the right in this case. Get my hooks. You good? So same thing we kind of been working, we're just gonna to add to it, all right? And then Thursday we're gonna play off of this, but we'll do something different. So then we're gonna, we'll get them out instead of going to, going to the back. Any, any questions? We're not gonna get as many rounds on this part, uh, but we'll do it for 10 minutes or so. All right, one, two, three. Oh.